Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have chapter 9 of the quarry. We are literally right in the mix now. There is there's no turning back. It is literally full steam ahead. Away we go. Everything is cracking on now, so... Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up! So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest... whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. So... I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you... Hooky McHook face. Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all going to be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a little me time to figure out the new Dylan before anything. New and improved Dylan. Dylan 2.0. Oh, well shit, now I want to be Caitlyn 2.0. Hey, find me something sharp enough at the scrapyard and we can make that happen. <laughs> well, well, now's your chance, buddy. We're here. Oh shit. Relax, it's motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh look, steampunk's back in. Ew, come on, this way. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. <laughs> you know? Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your Whatever is happening right now. Ugh, I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Is that why you do the internet video thingy? Internet video thingy? Whatever it is you call it. You know, people think influencers do it just for the attention. And maybe you do at first. But... After a while, it's like, what's the difference between 4,000 rando likes and 100,000 rando likes? But I make people laugh. <laughs> I act dumb and they laugh. Maybe that makes me dumb? Or maybe I just like to make people laugh. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, <sighs> fuck this nine, huh? Yeah. Come on. I want to hear you say it. Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> Put me down! Easy, ma. Put me down, you old witch! Blow your fucking head off! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Uh, 
Gotcha. Don't pay for what you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off of me! Everybody stop! Constance. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh... Oh, wake up. Wake up, darling. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cuba. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis. I'm close. Stand by. Over. Your 
motherfucker. There are bears around here. Dear darling. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> you know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer.
gonna be too pleasant for you, I promise you that. You gotta help me. I do? Yeah, I promise. I won't tell anyone anything. No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> I've never done that before. Trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First, Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it maybe it will. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. 
And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? Do it. Okay. Uh. Nice and tender for you. He should start to feel better soon, I guess. guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped of parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Okay, so I'm just going to apologise now. This will either take me five minutes or 25 minutes. You can get quite lost. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Who's T? Mm -hmm. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. Dodgy. You said it.
Keeping Brian's okay? He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. Nope, nope, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um. Just, uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score!
Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just, I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. It holds. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. What'd you find? Oh, I'm just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. OK. 
Okay. Guess that makes sense. Getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. So, for you at home, if you look dead straight ahead, you will know exactly what that is. Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think. I think I found a bit. Chris Hackett. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? What? Oh. You 
think this is over? This isn't over. I don't understand Chris is dead. Huh. Well, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. They've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let at him the go! Bar. At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay? Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense, yeah. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. In what world would I want to help you? There's at least three werewolves out there. You go by yourself, you're gonna die out there. So what happens if we kill Silas? Everybody gets better. And who bit him? Not sure. It all started when they rolled in with that freak show about six years back. But I knew he'd come back, eventually. Okay, okay, so where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? And your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? The sun the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Hierophant, where did you find this? Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. My poor boy. You see what that did to us? No. Oh, no. oh, what have they done? 
What have they done? Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! Silas! How they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon they hunt him, armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid children. Little silence. My little white wolf. You must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? Remember how much I've done for you? So, absolute carnage. What an episode that's been. Um, deaths all over the show, mainly of the Hackett family. There's only two of them left. There's Travis and there's Caleb. As you can see, next episode, we're actually going to take control of Max. Um, we've got to find Laura. So, um, we have one more episode to go. Chapter whatever you want to call it um it's been a very pleasurable experience this one um we'll just go through quickly at the turret we've got 14 we did miss a few in that last episode camp is nothing to report evidence we've got everything but one clues uh, nearer here or there really 
Oh, went too far, didn't I? But when it comes to this, there's going to be some big updates here. Laura shot Constance in the head. In a fit of rage, Laura killed Jediah. Travis decides to work with Laura to find Silas. That's not going to update because the rotor arm is lost forever. That hasn't been updated. Neither has the fireworks. Watch your step. The ladder rung broke when Abby climbed up. Pieces of silver. Nothing there. Nothing added on there. Nothing there. Nothing more there. Ryan shot Chris Hackett with silver curing his line of infection. Ryan survived the ordeal at Hackett House. Laura, Travis and Ryan have decided to work together to find Silas. Dylan and Caitlin went to the scrapyard to find a working vehicle. They worked together to escape the scrapyard. Abigail and Emma found the silver shells in the storm shelter. Emma and Abigail found their way into the lodge. Ryan decided to free Jacob from the basement. All the door cages opened when Laura broke the fuse box. So had that happened and we didn't free Jacob, Jacob would probably be a dead man by now. Pounds of flesh. Ryan chose not to remove the knife from his stab wound. He had to be careful not to excavate his injury as he fled from Bobby. Ryan removed the knife and from his wound and stabbed Bobby. Ryan chose to accept Laura's bite to offer him a bite. I've butchered that. Chose to accept Laura's offer to bite him. Bobby was weakened and unable to defend himself against Chris. Ryan was saved from blood loss. And that is it. That was the one that we weren't sure about. So that concludes today's episode. We got one more. One more and then we are done. So far, we haven't had one character die counsellor-wise, which is the, uh, the goal. So uh, that will call the end. Please give us a like. It massively helps get the reach out um, to the, the algorithm of YouTube. It really, really helps. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Always need more subscribers. We definitely need more. Uh, turn those bells on if you want to be notified when a, when a video goes live. Um, we'll see you in a few days for the final part of the quarry. Ladies.